All right, it's Vex. And the wait is finally over. It teased us for almost a year. So now it's like last year, the year of Commander. Here it is, a Commander product. Commander Legends draft booster. No set boosters, draft boosters. I did want to um, get uh, collector boosters, but you know what? Shipping delays, they weren't available. So I didn't get them. So we gotta deal with just a draft booster. I can't wait to make a bunch of deck techs, but again, as you know, the premise of my channel, all about physical products. Oh, sad to see no box topper. I guess this is a box topper, right? <laughs> no physical products. I mean, all physical products, I mean. So if I don't have it, I won't use it in deck tech. This is the way it is. So I have to open the commanders I want to do deck techs on them. So the commanders I want are Obeka, you know, Ayumi, Gen, 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 War, Warlock, no, Yurlock, Yurlock, whatever his good name is, Belby, and other ones. We'll see. We'll see what we get. Of course, we want Jeweled Lotus. I'll talk about Jewel Lotus and Milk Cracking Packs, what my opinion on Jewel Lotus is, but let's get, get right to it, right? These are 20 card packs, thicker than usual, right here, 20 card draft boosters, 13 commons, two uncommons, a rare, so these are not, these are the non-legend cards, uh, to two legends and a foil. So I know it's, it's a weird collation, but let's check this out. Preordained, oh my God, it's got reprinted, so that means you can get foils. Foils, from M wherever it was, um, going up to a hundred some dollars. So thank God pure days reprinted. So excited for that. Here we got 13 commons here. Charcoal diamond diamonds were reprinted. So I'm excited for that too. Boom. Those are the commons right here. Guildless commons. So this is like the bounce land, but for colorless, oh, let's go right to my Cosmic deck. I have not done deck deck yet, but I will. Mirror Gone. Three Vistas got reprinted. Oh my god, I can't wait to get that one. Here it is. Okay, so first non legendary uh, rare Shashima's Protege. Shash. Shashim. Whatever his name is. Flash Cascade. That's so cool. It's only 3 1 for 6. The rate's horrible. Uh, but you may have it enter the battlefield as a copy of any permanent. So it's a clone. Six man Flash Cascading clone. Very good. All right, we got one of the partner commanders. Itch, itch to leak. Uh, I don't remember this one. Also, one of the Blade Slicer Commanders. Abomination of Lana War. Uh, it's all right. Number of elves you control in your graveyard. Um, you, you control in the battlefield and graveyard, I think. Yeah. Let's see what our foil is. Boom. Now, we got foil Jeweled Lotus. That'd be amazing. Natural Reclamation. So, it's a five mana cascading. So, cascade's one of the um, uh, keywords of the set here. So, we have foil per pack. So, that's pretty neat. 20 commons, so we got lots of commons. They're, they reprinted Command Tower at common. Reprinted Arcane Signet and Soul Ring at uncommon. Can you imagine drafting Soul Ring at uncommon? The thing is, there's lots of, there's more uncommons, so Soul Ring's less prevalent, but man, can you imagine drafting two Soul Rings? Um, or doing a sealed deck with two Soul Rings? That's insane. I can't imagine a world where that, a world where that exists, but yeah, I'm, I'm getting really excited now. I can't wait to open some Soul Rings. Yeah, you, you, so you can draft with three packs, or you take six packs to make your 60 card um, deck, which my play group and I will make eventually. Open the armories, it's a good reprint here. Get yourself an equipment. Let's see here, rare. But, oh my God, let's go, hold on. You know, I totally forgot to even mention this. I totally forgot, I, I just forgot to mention this. Mana Drain is in the set. I was not expecting this at all. And Vampiric Tutor. So Mana Drain, Vampiric Tutor. It says enthusiasm is no match for preparation. Well, I'm, I'm enthused now. I was not expecting, I totally forgot about Mandrake, tell you the truth. Tormon from Tormon's Crypt. Jessica, that's a, that's a mythic. Yeah, so I know this can happen is you get your two legends and one of the legends could be, I think you always get an uncommon legend and then you get a rare uh, mythic or uncommon um, uh, legend. So we got two mythics in one pack. That's, that's amazing. Jessica is Phage the Untouchable, but she's thrice reborn. She has a partner too, so it's pretty neat. Foundry Inspector. This has been downshifted. This is popper now. It used to be an uncommon. All right, we start off. So there's only two packs in. We got two mythics. We're doing great. So again, there's 22 mythics in the set. 
So Mandarin, you know, a Jeweled Lotus, like even in a big sealed case of six boxes, you're just not guaranteed to get it. So that's how rare these things are because of the smaller sizes and the bigger Mythic pool, 22 Mythics. I think 77 rares. Let's go through some of these comments here. I love the Diamond Cycle. This is just such, like, this is where the power level commander should be. You pay two mana, you get two mana on Mana Rock. It comes to play tap, it taps for one color. Uh, I think they could push the power a little bit by having a two mana rock that comes to play tap that taps for two colors. I think I, I think they can do it. Jalum Tomb here. Oh, here's Mask of Memory. This is a good equipment card. I've been waiting to get this one foil. Dreamstone Hedron, not good, not that good. Maybe good in draft. Laboratory, Drudge. Let's see what this one does. At the beginning of each end step, draw a card if you cast a spell from a graveyard or activate an ability of a card in a graveyard. That's very interesting. I don't know where that goes, but we'll figure out Zombie Horror. Prava of the Steel Legion. Kanji, a king. Kingi, I don't know. Oh my God. Wow, we're, we're hitting. This is the one of the cards we've wanted, Yurlock. But not just Yurlock, Yurlock and Etched Foil, wow. That's why I wanted to buy the, um, the collector boosters to get the Etched Foils. But man, we actually got the one we wanted in Edge Foil. So this looks a little flat right here. So I think they they what well, I think what they do is they print and then they foil on top. So the so you actually get paper and then metallic on top instead of instead of like this regular foil where it's all metallic and they print the ink on top of the, the metal. This is they have see you see how it's like flat a little bit here and they just etch it on. So it's a foiling coming after the uh after the ink. The printing so this looks pretty darn neat i'm very happy wow okay let's put that in the sweet pile okay so we are doing excellent we've opened three booster packs we've got mana drain a jessica a mythic a yurlock etch etch foil i mean wow i totally would like if you get these for about like a 100 assist that kind of pays for mana drain because mana drain was like 100 something back in the day it's, it's not worth that much but Man, Mandra will go back up. Guaranteed, this is an EDH staple. This will go back up. It goes in any blue deck that Counterspell can go into. Which I think Counterspell's in this set too. Uh, didn't get any Counterspells here. So I'm not sure. I think it's an uncommon, actually. I gotta check. Return to Dust. Not as good as it used to be. It's still good. Still playable. Oh my god, Rings of Bright Hearth. Alright, so this card used to be worth a lot. Not anymore in Commander Legends, maybe like. Eight, nine bucks, but he's worth 40, 50 bucks. I, I do have the original one from Lauren, I believe. Let's see what we get. Oh, uh, I thought we were getting foil. Okay, so this goes in a rare pile. I got too many piles. Malcolm, that's an easy one to pronounce. No problem with that. Tago, Goblin Weaponsmith. The range assistant. Oh, the Prismic Piper. So I guess the Prismic Piper, you get extra. Cause of one area six, so it goes at the end here, but it's a, it's a common. It's actually um special rarity, S rarity, but I'll put it in the common pile. All right, it's not as excellent of a pack as the other ones, but man, look at that. Four packs. Rings of Brightheart. Let's just put this. This is a good, no, notable rare. Good rare. Okay, this is one of the best boxes I've ever seen for now. Well, it's my only box for now, I guess. I haven't watched online yet. Oh, this is so cool. Special search site. Choose a player. That player adds one color of any mana they choose. Great with Yurlock. Put that right underneath the Yurlock just, just for fun, you know. Works really well with your lock. See anything good here? The diamonds. Oh, so great to see these diamond cycles. Have been reprinted in like forever. Thirst for knowledge. What, what do we get here? Train. Oh, sweet. God, these packs, they keep coming. Training center. So this is like the, the completion of the Battle Bond lands. So you have two more opponents. You add uh, um, blue red. So it's the uh, is it one. Amazing. Oh, and you have more cards. So these are two hits off the bat. Queen. Uh, was it? Itinerant Meddler. Oh, it's each person, each player may draw a card. Sur Slurk. All adjusting. Oh, it's the Ooze Lord. It's Legendary Ooze. That's so cool. Right there. Dreamstone Hedron. Not as good, but hey, we'll take it. Gosh. Hit after hit after hit. This box is amazing. Let's go. I know, um, I uh, talked to uh, our friend 8th Place Dave, and then we're going to do a booster box battle, but I kind of wish we did a booster box battle with this box. Um, but that'll, that'll be coming soon. Stay tuned so we get to see how that works. 
Terramorphic Expanse. This is great reprinting here. Better than Evolving Wilds sometimes. Evolving Wilds are reprinted way too much. Here. Miora, Miora Mace has Cascade, so that's pretty cool. All right, so this might be a dud pile. More Cascades, so there's like tons of Cascades. Where's my Encore cards? Flash, Cascade, Reach, each in their own line. <laughs> when it enters the battlefield, put three plus one plus one counters on each of any number of target creatures that enter the battlefield this turn, so that's pretty neat. Zero, this, the, the cost ratio here, six for zero three is kind of crazy. It's worse than the other one we had, <laughs> the clone one. La, Lathia, Lathiel. I'm not gonna try to pronounce these names. Oh, you know, I thought we can get, I thought this is always an uncommon, but I guess it could be a rare as well, because we have two rares. We got three rares. I feel like there's like set booster. We got three rares in one pack. Uh, Jared, that's easy to pronounce here. Uh, it gives you somebody else a monarch, but it makes them bigger. So that's pretty neat. All right, oh, you know what? I'll tell you the truth. It's so hard to remember all these legendaries and what they do. So I'm only remember like the, the ones I care about. It's just, and then eventually hope I can look them all up and figure out which ones are good, which ones are not, and then uh, make deck text for you. Finhorn Elves, this is, this is the first non-foil non -foil reprinting since Ice Age, since 1995. It took them 25 years to do a non-foil reprinting. And it also comes in foil too, if you pull it. Here it is. Aurora Phoenix. So it's Cascade. Again, I'm getting all the Cascade rares. Look at this. Cascade, Cascade, Phoenix says Cascade, Nadir, right here. It's a little elf. Rebecca, a little protection, a little artifact weirdness. I'll tell you the truth. It's hard to, let's read the card. Artifacts you control have protection from each converted man cost them on artifacts you control. That's, kind of, that's insane to track. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to try. Put that in a legendary pile. All right. Two mythic, I think. I'm not sure how the collation works with it because you get an extra mythic possibility from your um, slots. Uh, but uh, Command Tower of Common, that's, that's amazing. Good, it's good draft. You can have two Command Towers, three or four if you want in your draft. There's no um, one of limit. Vault of Champions, so this is another one of the uh, Battle Bond type lands. This is the Orzhov one. Sweet. Kadama of the East Tree. You know people are gonna ask, where, where's Kadama of the West Tree? It's coming, it's probably coming. And it's got partner too. So that's pretty neat. It's a rare here. We'll put it in the legendary pile. Two year bear claw. So it's like Surex um, relative or something, I don't know. Sister maybe. Oh sweet, another edge fall. I thought these edge falls were like one per box. Okay. Ghost of Ramirez de Pietro. So it's like a spirit pirate, so it's cool. Okay, another edge foil. I thought these were gonna be super duper rare, like one per box, but wow. Okay, we got two, maybe we get more. See, I, I don't know the, um, I haven't watched any other box openings, so I really don't know the um, the collation. So you got another Finhorn Elves on how, how often you would get one of those. Thought Vessel at Uncommon. These are going for $10 at Uncommon now. They get, finally get full one, so that's great. Slash the ranks, destroy all creatures and planeswalkers except for commanders. So this is, you know, pretty good wrath. It destroys planeswalkers too. There it is, Belby. That's definitely the deck I'm gonna make. One of these decks. Again, I want to make. I want to make a Yurlock deck. I still, I'm still trying to get cards for this. Belby's a card deck I really wanted to make. I'm still trying to get cards for this one. This quick, but put that in a good pile. Kangi again, and Frexian Rager. So, okay, this is a deck I definitely want to make. I would definitely want to make that. Um, usually in my blue decks, I include only Counterspell, but since we have Commander Legends, I think I'm, I'm going to include a Mana Drain in my decks. Uh, Elvis Visionary, so Elves are one of the themes here, I think, in black and uh, green. Yeah, so I think if you want your Mana Drain, I would wait a couple weeks for Mana Drain to sink down a little more, wait maybe a month after Christmas, and bam, get a Mana Drain because those are going to skyrocket back up. They are incredible cards, best counter spell ever printed. As you saw in my video about uh, EDH staples, there's wrong turn target opponent gains control of target creature. So you just give one opponent another opponent's creatures or one of your bad creatures. Br Brian Lynn, Moon Kraken, so the giant Kraken. Elena, it's one of the preview cards here. Patreon of the Valiant. So, okay, so we only got one foil. Rare, I wonder how many foil rares. See, the thing is, like, it's so cool to open this up for the first time. You just don't know, like, don't know 
a lot of things. And it's kind of cool to just discover it. Strategic planning, so I have my Lotus Breach deck. Uh, I've been trying to get foils for this from uh, Outer Devastation, but now they have, they reprinted that, so those foils are gonna be easier to get. Let's see, we, we haven't got any good foils except for the Yurlock there. That's the one we want, but of course we'll take Foil Mandarin. Horizon Stone, this is the one I wanted too. This actually works really good with Belby right here. Um, as you're adding, you know, potentially up to six mana per turn. Remember, your, your opponents add mana too, if they, if they could do some shenanigans, but Horizon Stone's good. Archelos, the little turtle, it's weird. Um, as long as it's tapped, other permits enter a battlefield tapped. As long as it's untapped, other permits enter a battlefield untapped. So it's kind of like a weird thing where your uh, Shocklands can enter untapped for free. Sinjur, all right. So that's double rare, that's triple rare, sweet. Like that, I might make I might make a deck out of this, but Sultai is such a hard um, color to make because of Majolfa and your rock, not your lock, your your um, Sultai is hard color to bust into, make a good commander for it's command tower again. Yeah. So, skilled animator, little artifact, gilded commons, um, rising scholar, some Machia magistrate. So that's a uh, um, reprint from the Lauren block. There is Lisa. Oh, I really wanted this one too. It's really cool. Um, this is forced on you, right? Rather than pay two for each previous time you've cast this spell from the command zone, this game pay two life that many times. So you don't pay commander tax, but you cannot uh, avoid paying the two life, the Frexen ta or, you know, the Frexman cast. So just remember that it's not optional. Um, pay the two life if you want to like pay commander tax. All right, so let's go through this a little faster. Opal Palace, so all these cool commander cards. Just, you, it's so cool to just see them opened up. Still looking for three visits though. I haven't seen three visits yet, which is like a $200 card now, probably like a dollar or two. Armored Sky Hunter. This is cool, little equipment here. This is so confusing. This Inara, a wolf, and there's Ayara, the bear. I'm, I'm never gonna remember. Armix. Oh, sweet. Now we got we got a diamond here. Looks gorgeous in foil. Sky diamond. All right. Nice. Oh, so far, we're doing pretty well. The box started off really strong. We're not going as strong as we wanted to. Commander Sphere, Sisse's Ring. This is not Soul Ring, obviously. But, you know, this is pretty fun opening these packs. Because these are new cards. I barely remember what they did during Spur of the Season. So, Root Weaver Druid. So when it enters a battlefield, each point may search their library for three basic land cards. Wow. They each put one of those cards onto a battlefield tapped under your under your control, and the rest onto a battlefield tapped under their control. Hmm. That's interesting. I didn't, I, I, I didn't know exactly what they did, but some more of these. So yeah, so the uncommon partners are so, they're probably, I mean, I remember when legendaries were worth so much, but now they're just printing them. Like Preordained, they're like printing them to death now. Where legendaries aren't as legendary as they used to be because they're uncommon. A steer command. This is still good. I still play this in a lot of my decks. I think people say it's not as good. Like um, Cleansing Nova is better, the five mana one, I think, but I still like this a lot. I still play this card. Here it is Siani, Tiago, Togo, Togo. Right there. A little goblin. I'm looking for the pirates. I love the pirates. Oh, here it is. We got the, our full legendary here. A C a C or what? Ward Ward Wing Familiar. Oh my God, I can't pronounce that. It's just like a, a good workhorse legendary. This could be a this could be a regular creature, really. Spells your opponents cast to target one or more commanders you control. Cost three more to cast. That's just it's not it's not that special. But again, they they didn't want to break commander by having powerful partners. So they you know it's good they went conservative to tell you the truth. If they went too aggressive, you know we might have again another partner problem. Thrasios is already a problem, and then we don't want any more problems here. Siren Storm Tamer, that's still a good card too. All right, another Mythic. God, you know what, we've been a little dry of Mythics lately. Port Razor, so whenever Port Razor deals combat damage to a player, untap each creature you control. Each creature, not even, not even the ones that attack. After this combat phase, there's additional combat phase, and it can only attack players that, it can't attack players that are already attacked, so you can hit different players. Oh, double mythic. I love these double mythic packs. Tavishet, Doom of Fools. Little partner commander here. Sweet. We got, we got both the partner commanders right there off the bat. Oh, full of Farhaven Elf. That's sweet too. 
All right, I know I keep yapping away. Woo, woo. Okay, so got Mandarin. I mean, if this gets um, yeah, Preordain again, if this gets the uh, the Lotus, I would be amazed. Or Vampiric Tutor. Let's see here. Oh, 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 baby, oh, baby. Let's let's take a look. Opposition Agent. I know a lot of people haven't talked about this. Might be overpowered. It's a good card. It's not like the end of the world. You just gotta know. Hey. Just don't search too much. <laughs> That's sweet. Put that in there. I want this pile. Yeah. Ragroth here is the cheapest legendary commander ever. Ant's partner. Ragroth. Ragrock. Son of Ra Rogok. Rogok. Tongue twister. Okay. So let's just make this better. Let's go for foil. Jewel Lotus. No, that didn't happen. <laughs> I went right to the back to see what's happened. Right here, Let's see here. Murder is still a good card. I like it. No, no three visits though. Rakshash, Rakshashka da, Dabister. Hmm. Can't pronounce that. And then their partners here, Emoti. This is the Cascade Compartner, but I think the uh, there's a a, a teamer Cascade Compartner. This is Cascade Commander. It's not partner. It's really good. I forgot what it's called, but we want to open that one too. Right. Sage always good commander. I think one of staples. Keeper of the Accord. Right there. Make sure we got own the same amount of lands or creatures. If it doesn't, it gives you extra stuff. Blim. And Mira. Blim, yeah. And Blim is kind of cool. You can give stuff to players. We'll get our Prism Piper here. Okay. All right. So that's pretty neat. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this box today. Again, I got Mandrain. Which makes me really happy. Um, got some. Uh, see, do we get an arcane scene? I know arcane scene comes in uncommon. Tangible virtue. What's this one? This is the big bad white one. Triumphant reckoning. You should return all artifacts, enchantments, and planeswalker cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Probably pairs really well with black. Put that in there. Radiant, Sa Radiant Sarah Archangel. Pretty cool. Oh, Felici. I wanted that one, so that's pretty cool. Makes your doubles your tokens that are made. It's like a weird doubling season. I don't know. It also doubles your um, treasure tokens too, not just creatures. There it is pure is perfect. This is printed in the list. I know it's weird. Except for it had the the promo printing in the list. Promise of tomorrow. Uh, I forgot how that works. Oh, it basically saves your creatures from rafts. Nostro, Voice of Crags. Oh, this is one with the storm, but so weird. If I'm storming, I just want to kill, not like storm and then tap it. So it's in a, it's in a weird spot. I put it put it here because I found one. Might I might think about building it? Ambush Viper. This is the Snapcaster Mage. <laughs> Two one flash. Okay. So I'm wondering if they have three. Like usually these are like 24 packs, you get three mythics per box. I wonder if you get four just because of the um, the extra slots. Um, the the legend slots that you get arcane signet there at uncommon so now you can get foil one sweet very happy about that so look, look at this common pile it's huge move this over here real quick cursive recruiter i know i got pirates i think there's a pirate a pair so i gotta get that dargo pirate i i don't is it dark i think there's more than one more than one red pirate numa charcoal diamonds so another diamond looks pretty pretty gorgeous there okay all right two more packs let's see what we get I think overall this box is pretty good. Above average, I would say. That's what Mandarin does to everything, right? Supreme Will, that's a great card. I like that card. Soul Fire Eruption, ooh, another Mythic in the close. Let's see what it does. Choose any number of target play target creatures, Planeswalker, and or players. Choose target creatures, Planeswalker, and or players. How about choose any number of targets? I don't know. Uh, for each of them, exile the top card of your library, then Soul Fire Eruption deals damage equal to that card's from very man cost to the permanent or player. You may play the exile cards until the end of your, your next turn. Hmm. Interesting. It's a nine mana card. Cost of, oh, crack. Quark. Thumbless. Abomination Live. We've got this one right. Oh, we got our full rare. Plague Reaver. Uh, I don't think Plague Reaver is that great. So let's just throw them into the, uh, I don't even know where my full rare over here pile is. All right, one last one. Let's see what we get. And then we do a quick summary.
see here, nothing good here. Oh, went through, oh, right through the uncommons. This common pile. Fencing ace and uncommon lane. Jessica's will. There we go. So Jessica right there. Let's see me, me, Mirera. Got the, I haven't got this one already. Undying Rage. Okay, we end off not that great, but you know what? Look at Salamander Warrior token. You know what? We got six Mythics. We got Mana Drain. These ones are probably bulk. We got Tavet Tavishet, it's pretty good. Jessica's pretty good. So we got three good Mythics here. That's not bad. We got one Etch, one Etch Rare, one Etch Uncommon. So I think maybe one per box. Yurlock, we got exactly the one we wanted. Sweet. We got the commander we wanted. One, one of them, Belby. We didn't get um, uh, Obeka, but we got two of these lands, so that's great. Horizon Stone. So, okay, we got some good stuff here. Anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, enjoyed me pulling Manager in the second uh, pack of, of Commander Legends, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, enjoy what my channel, enjoy what I do. If you want to see more, smash the subscribe button. Support the channel. Again, below I have the TCG player affiliate link. If you want to click on that, you know, it doesn't cost you any money. You just click on the link. Um, help support the channel that way. Uh, I can't wait to make uh, um, decks from these cards. It's so These cards are so awesome. Got my mana drain. I'm so happy. Got my Yorlock. I mean, I'll be mana burning everybody to death with Spectral Searchlight. Can't wait to make decks. Tune in. Check out those deck techs. Um, so I always like to leave with a question here. What do you guys think of Commander Legends? Do you like it? Do you think they went too far with um, any of the Commander cards? And, you know, before I go, I know, let's just talk about Jewel Lotus real quick. Jewel Lotus is a card that should have never been printed. You know, Jocelyn Kwai said on the Command Zone, he play tested this and he just begged them or re highly requested them not to print Jewel Lotus. It does nothing good for the game. It's very powerful. And what it does is you play on turn one, you get a you know, three-man advantage turn one. You essentially end the game pretty quickly. It's not, it's not fun because you're just like, the other three opponents are always playing, are constantly playing catch-up, trying to do something. Uh, or you draw a late game, you do nothing. It's just a useless card. It just doesn't create a game that has tension because it's just like you play turn one, you play, uh, you know, or play turn two, you play Golos out. Turn two, you get your land. Now you're ramping. Now you're doing whatever you want. It, it doesn't add more fun to the game. Uh, and then if you play in your play group, it's just like, okay, sure, you did your thing turn one. You, you know, it's like... But turn one Soul Ring is always beatable. But turn one, like, um, Jeweled Lotus, because it, it plays... It, it, do, it does colors. Because turn one Soul Ring, you got to have your colored land, probably, to play Soul Ring. So you have two colors. Uh, with your Jeweled Lotus, you, you don't have to tap your color land, then you could play your Jeweled Lotus and play a four um, a, a four man commander that has you know two colors. Uh, turn one. Uh, I can't think of one right now, but it's just insane. Uh, or a five man commander turn uh, two. So you play a, a, a Yurik turn two, Golos turn two, Chulane turn two, Corval turn two. It's actually great Corval decks because if you don't need it, you just sack and draw a card. Um, so again, it just does nothing productive for the game. It just causes feel bads uh, when you draw it late. It causes feel bads for your opponents when you play it early. It is what it is. They print it, can't unprint it. It's probably for CEH. I'm probably not gonna put it in my deck text because it's just not. It's not a fun card. Uh, so again, if you don't want to play with the card, you don't have to. Or if you're like a really super spike and you want to win at all costs, play with it. Enjoy it. You know, if, they, if that brings you fun, you do it. Anyways, uh, besides Jewel Lotus, what do you think of the, the, the set? Leave your answers in the comments below, right down there. And as always, have a wonderful day.